All right, welcome back. When you're cooking for a crowd, you're bound to run into some dietary restrictions. The Good Foods Co-op here to give us some very creative and versatile ideas for your perfect Thanksgiving meal. We have Daniel Doak with us. Uh, great to have you on, as always. Thank you for having Big us. Big day is tomorrow. We've got the bird. We covered that yesterday, but you've got some other dishes that are a little kind of untraditional, you would right. say, that you typically wouldn't find on your Thanksgiving table. Tell us what you have laid out for yeah, us. Yeah, well, you know, everyone is used to your traditional dishes, you know, mm -hmm. regular stuffing, green bean yeah. casserole, whatever. Well, this is just to kind of just make it more interesting, your Thanksgiving. And, and a lot of we have in our grab and go or um, like rolls over here, they're house made. So ready to go. They're ready to come go. In, come grab in, them if you don't want to on make the it, table and we've done it for you. Yep. Very cool. So, right here we have. Um, mashed potatoes, but it's made with garlic instead. So it's kind of a garlicky mashed potatoes. Okay. You know, you have your regular, um, and they're delicious. And you can put, top it with your our turkey gravy, and this is on grab and go, and it's ready for you. And mm -hmm. we sampled it this past weekend, and it was very, superb. Very good. Um, we have right here, if you know, if you have dietary restrictions, um, this is a great substitute for the green bean casserole. Which it's is a staple usually. Right. So if, if you have someone with food sensitivity, yeah. this is a perfect option. It's a option. roasted Brussels, Brussels sprouts, and you know you can spice it up with some bacon. Um, you can do balsamic on top, or even you can add some gorgonzola cheese. Mm -hmm. So it's a great. Um, this is also something we um, sample. And it's cranberry orange relish. So it's you're used to your you know canned cranberry sauce mm -hmm. or whatever. Well, this is a little bit more tart and a little bit more I think interesting. So you guys stopped by not too long ago, and yeah. that was the biggest hit in the newsroom. I mean, it was gone instantly, and it's everyone. Delicious. Just saying, we don't really know what it is, but it's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> well, that's another thing, you know, we haven't made for you. So you can just stop mm -hmm. by and. So easy. So easy. Um, right here we have, you know, you usually have your classic stuffing, you know, everyone yep. makes it. Well, this we made with croissants. Croissants. The croissants. So, and, you know, usually you add butter, but the croissants, they're baked with butter already. Mm -hmm. So oh. you don't have to add a lot of butter after you put the croissants in a there. A nice buttery which is crust. Nice. Too. Yes. Yeah, uh, and even just the, the color in this dish. Really pops, very neat. And then uh, last but not least, yeah. So these are our house-made rolls, and this is a great way to spice up your rolls. You take just, you can um, cook some garlic in a pan just to brown it a little bit, take away the strong flavor. Mm -hmm. um, you do garlic and butter, and you just uh, wipe it on top, and then you put some parsley. And it, you can say, you know, you made it. Looks like you made it. It looks fantastic. <laughs> but too. we made it house made. You can just come and grab a pan, and then it takes just minutes to Especially make. Especially so. with the the parsley garnish, makes it look so fancy. Right. You know, but uh, it's a good thing that calories don't count on holidays. Exactly. So that's good. Uh, in case they missed the program yesterday, we went over the turkey. You guys actually offer kits that yep. make it one, two, three steps, and you've got a bird. Yeah, our kits come with um, it's brine, and then it comes with a bag to help with the brine, and then we also have a rub to go on top. And the bags are BPA free, and it's all GMO. It's non GMO. So easy. So, yeah. So easy. Well, you guys are open tomorrow at the Good Food Co op. And first of all, we appreciate you working yes. on the holiday. But what do you well, have I enjoy going it. on? Um, we have a great Thanksgiving buffet. Our store hours are 9 to 5, our buffet is 10 to 4. I mean, this is for, you know, if you don't have a family, you can come mm -hmm. in and join us. You know, you have your co-op family. If you don't want to make the meal, then we have it made for you. If you just want to come and just see us, mm -hmm. <laughs> we have the food just ready say for hey. you. Yep. But it's going to be nice. You're going to have, it's going to be a nice atmosphere. We're going to have, um, you know, placemats and all that type of stuff. And we're going to seat you at the table to make it more mm -hmm. um, Thanksgiving for you guys. Or, or it could just be first dinner. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. Eat, eat there. You and come here you for lunch and, and then you go. Yeah. Very exactly. Uh, if people want more info, where can they check it out? Um, yeah, so if you want to get on our Facebook, you will have a couple of recipes for you that we made here. We'll have the croissant mm -hmm. recipe and then we'll have the cranberry relish. If you want to get on our website, you can check out our grab and go options under our Thanksgiving Day. And you can also see what we're offering on Thanksgiving we're gonna Day. We're going to have to get into this right now. Yes. Danielle, great having you on the program. <laughs> Thank you for Always us. a pleasure. All right, we're back with more right after this.